Paro Ninja. Hi everyone. Today we're going to show you how to set up the Pardot Zoom app for webinars. So there are a couple of prerequisites um, that Zoom specifies on their website for installing this app. One of them is that you'll need to have a Zoom Pro account with webinar license. Um, the other is that sales, you must have Salesforce Pardot Plus or higher. Um, now I have installed this and and had it working on um, a part of growth edition before. And I don't know if I just got lucky um, or if um, if you can, but it does say on Zoom that it has to be a Salesforce part of plus account or higher. And in Zoom, you need to have um, an admin account or role with the privileges to view users and edit the integration. So let's see how we go. I'm gonna to try to install this in our org. Um, let's install the Pardot app by going to the Zoom Marketplace. So to do this, we just click on Solutions and click on Marketplace. And when we go to this page, all these apps will show. Um, there's 88 pages, so I'm just going to search Pardot up here. And this is it here. So I'm going to install this app for everyone on the account. You can make it for specific users only. And then what we want to do here is just um, make sure that we're authorizing. So it's telling us here that, you know, these are the type of information that the app's going to be able to view um, and we must authorize this. Here is what the app um, can manage. So we're going to click authorize. Great. So now we want to install the package. Step one. And here it's going to do that for us. And we're just going to leave it as install for admins only. It does sort of give us a flag that it's a non-Salesforce application. We're going to upgrade this. So we have had this before. So I'm just upgrading. And it may take a few minutes for this to happen. So when it has finished, you know, um, installing, you will receive an email to let you know that it's finished installing. But we will just patiently wait for it for now um, so I've just received an email to say that the package has installed successfully so I'm going to return back to this screen and click authorize and this is giving um, the application permission to access our Pardot instance so I'm clicking authorize and allow okay so now it takes us to this um this sort of configuration screen if you want to call it that um and what we need to do here is actually jump in and enter our part of business unit id now to find that we just can jump back into our uh, instance and we can go in the setup and search for part of account setup and here is our business unit id so if you're looking for it this is where you'll find it so we can highlight this and this is what we are going to add right here now, if you had any domains you want to exclude from being added to the Pardot list, you can do that um, by adding the domains here. If you've got multiple domains, um, it does say to separate them with um, semicolons. So we're going to save this.
and this is pretty much um, installed and ready to go. Um, one thing that I did see in some of the setup instructions was to create a um, custom field for joining the webinar. So webinar join link. And if you create this custom field on the Pardot side, what will happen is um, the webinar link will get pushed through to Pardot. So that's really helpful um, to store on your prospect record um, to A, know which webinar they've attended but or planning to attend. Um, or you can also, you because it's a field value, you can use that um, in your emails and things like that. So I'm going to create that. Um, now, so I'm just going to jump back into Pardot, go to Pardot settings, and then object and field configuration on the left and prospect fields. Add custom fields here. We're going to call it webinar join link, like so. And we're not doing any syncing here. We're not. I'm just going to put most recently updated record here um, for good measure and I'm going to create custom field. Okay. So this field's here now, so that's great. So all we need to do is jump back over to Zoom and I'm going to refresh this page. And I'm going to scroll down to webinar join link, which is the Zoom registration field. And we're going to map it to webinar join link here. We're going to add this. And that's all we need to do. So we do have a video on how to set up a Zoom Pardot integrated webinar. There are a few steps involved in that. So I do recommend that once you have installed um, the Zoom app successfully to start um, getting into it and creating um, a webinar and you're following the steps so that you can easily recreate them each time you need to do a webinar. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos.